Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that a 20 Newton horizontal force is applied perpendicular to the handle of the socket wrench. Determine the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles of the moment created by this force about point O. So we have to find the moment of this force about point O and the coordinate direction angles of that moment about point O. So first of all uh, is we can see that uh, this 20 Newton force is perpendicular with this uh, handle of the socket wrench. So if I draw a line, uh, let's say if I draw this force here, let's say if this force is, let's say if we are looking to this force from the top, so we will have the shadows here, right? And this is the 20 Newton force. Now, if I draw a perpendicular line or a line parallel to the x-axis, is let's say, if I put this line here, so this line is perpendicular to the y-axis since it is parallel to the x-axis and this force is perpendicular with this line. So the angle between these two lines is 15 degrees. So this means that this 20 Newton force is making 15 degrees with, the, with this line which is parallel to the x-axis. So now if I draw a, if I put this line here, if I place this line which is parallel to this x-axis is here, so this force is going to make 15 degrees with this line. So now let me remove all these and this 20 Newton force is making 15 degrees with this line. This is 15 degrees. Now we can resolve this uh, 20 Newton force into its components. So it will have two components. It will have one component which is going to act in this direction. This one will be the, uh, this component is parallel to that x axis is so it is acting along the x direction but in the negative x right so this is this component is 20 cos of 15 degrees and similarly you know, we will have one another component which will be parallel to the y axis is like this and let me put it here right or we can put it here so so this component will be the sine component this is 20 sine of 15 degrees and remember that this component is not parallel to the handle of this socket wrench. It is parallel to the y-axis. And since this 20 Newton force is in the plane which is parallel to the xy plane, so its z component will be zero. So now we can write this force f as a Cartesian vector, that force f. So this is equal to, this is 20 cos of 15, 20 cos of 15 in the negative i direction that is in the negative x so i will write minus i and then this is in the positive y so i will write plus 20 sine of 15 in the positive j direction so 20 cos of 15 this gives us 19.32 19.32 19 minus this is i and plus 20 sine of 15. So this gives us 5.18, 5.18 j and the units are in newtons since the force magnitude is given in newton. Now to find the moment we have to take the cross product. So the moment about point O that will be equal to the cross product of the moment arm and that force F. Now this will be, we can define our moment arm from O to A like this. This will be our position vector from O to A. This will be our position vector from O to A and this is that force F. So to find this position vector from O to A, we have to move from O and uh, we have to move along the x, y and z axis from O to reach that point A. So now from O we need to travel this distance along the y axis from here to here. And as we know that this length is we know that this length, this length is 200 mm. So in meters this will be 
0.2 meters, 200 divided by 1000, so this will be 0.2. So let me put it here, this is 0.2 meters. And the distance that we need to travel along the y-axis is, is 0.2 cos of 15. And then once we reach here from O, we need to travel this distance and this is 0.2 sine of 15 and then we need to travel this distance which is 75 and 75 divided by 1000 is 0 0.075 meters. So now the position vector from O to E is along the x we need, we need to travel this distance this is 0 0.2 sine of 15 in the positive i and in the positive y we need to travel this distance so this is plus 0 0.2 cos of 15 this is in the j and in the z we have to travel 0 0.075 k so this is the position vector or the moment arm from o to a so now we have to write that uh, determinant this is i j and k now the components of the the position vector let me simplify this first 0 0.2 0 0.2 sine of 15 this is 0 0.052 0 0.052 i then 0 0.2 cos of 15 this is 0 0.193 0.193 j and let's confirm that 75 divided by 1000 sometimes we did we do mistakes so this is 0 0.075 right so this is plus 0 0.075 k so this is the position vector from o to e so 0 0.052 0 0.193 0 0.075 the components of the position vector from O to E and now the components of this force F so that is minus 19.325.18 and the K component is 0. So now we can write that the moment about point O so we have to consider plus with I minus with J and plus with K and then we have to hide this and this so that is plus i multiply by this will become 0 minus 0 0.075 into 5.18 then minus j for minus j we have to hide this and this so this will become 0 and then again minus 0 0.075 into minus 19.32 and then this this is plus k and then 0 0.052 into 5.18 minus 0 0.193 into minus 19.32 this is this multi 0 0.052 multiplied by this minus this Right, so this is the moment about point O. Now, instead of finding all these using calculator, I'm going to use my Excel sheet. So I will put that determinant matrix matrix here. So this is 0 0.052. I'm going to put all these in, in this Excel sheet. So this is 0 0.193, 0 0.075. This is minus 19.32, 5.18, and 0. So now we get uh, minus 0 0.39i. Let me write it here minus 0 0.39i. Then we get uh, minus 1.45j, minus 1.45j and then 4 plus 4 k is plus 4.00 k 
So this is the Cartesian vector representation of the moment about point O and this the units of this will be in Newton meters. Now we were asked to find the coordinate direction angles, the coordinate direction angle. So the coordinate direction angles can be determined by finding the unit vector of this. So MO, if we write this MO vector in terms of coordinate direction angle, so that will be equal to M, M is the magnitude, right, of this moment. So M cos of alpha i plus M cos of beta j plus m cos of gamma k. So in terms of coordinate uh, direction angles, this is the Cartesian vector representation of any vector m cos of alpha, m cos of beta, m, m cos of gamma. So first we have to find this m magnitude. So we can find this m magnitude. Let me find this m magnitude, the magnitude of that m o. So that will be equal to the, the square of each component, 0 0.39 square plus 1.45 square plus 4 square under the square root. This will give us the magnitude and my Excel sheet gives the magnitude directly which is uh, 4.27. So the magnitude is 4.27. This is equal to 4.27 Newton meter. And now if we compare both of these, so from this we can say that m cos of alpha is equal to minus 0 0.39 and we can say that cos of alpha is minus 0 0.39 divided by that magnitude and magnitude is 4.27, we have determined this. So this is 4.27. Similarly, by comparing this, we can write that cos of beta is equal to uh, minus 1.45 divided by magnitude which is 4.27 and from this we can write that alpha is cos inverse of this ratio similarly beta is cos inverse of this ratio and similarly gamma will be equal to cos inverse of this 4 divided by m magnitude which is 4.27. So to find alpha, uh, that is cos inverse minus 0 0.39 divided by 4.27, this gives us 95.24. So alpha is 95.24 degrees. Similarly, beta minus 1.45 divided by that magnitude, which is 109 beta is 109.85 and similarly gamma is cos inverse 4 20.48 so gamma is 20.48 degrees so these are the coordinate direction angles of the moment about point O and and in the problem statement we were asked to determine the magnitude so the magnitude is 4.27 newton meter now if we want to represent that uh, mo vector so that mo vector is making uh, has components in the negative i negative j and in the positive k so let's say that has one component in the negative x like this let me draw it here and it has one component in the negative j like this so let me put it here and then one component in the positive k one component in the positive k like this so that moment vector is from O from the tail of the first component to the head of the last component. So this is that MO. And now and this MO is making uh, 
alpha 95.24 degrees with the positive x axis so this is that alpha angle with the y axis it is making beta and with the z axis it is making that gamma angle which is 20.48 so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps in your learning